should you tell your family that you've officially left your church cult? When you leave a church cult, in my case, it was the International Church of Christ, the ICOC, but take your pick, whichever one you may be a part of or a former member of. And once you make that decision to leave, it's hard enough. But do you announce it to your family? Do you have an official sit down conversation with them, letting them know that you have left the cult, that you have quote unquote seen the light, that um, you realize it was a cult, it was an abusive organization, it was controlling, and that you are now never going back again. You are now out. Is that a conversation you need to have with them? If your mom and dad were constantly trying to have an intervention with you to make you see the group was a cult and try to get you out, or they tried to show you newspaper articles or investigative reports on TV to say that we're investigating the group you in. Once you leave, should you tell them? And my answer to that is no, because that's what I did. And of course, this is just my opinion and is based on my life experience. But I find that it just really isn't necessary to announce it to them because all they're probably going to do is say, I told you so. Especially if they were against you being in it in the group in the first place. If they were telling you it was a cult from the get-go and they were trying to convince you to get out of it and then they eventually just left you alone and, and didn't bring it up anymore after trying too many times to convince you, then um, it just really isn't emotionally beneficial for you, the cult survivor, to go back and tell them. Because what that will do is put you in a situation where you're basically telling them that you were wrong. And the reality of it is that you were a victim. You were a, I'm not talking about victim mentality. I'm saying you were a victim of the manipulative practices by a cult. That's what they do. They recruit people by manipulation. You were under mind control. And you breaking that mind control and coming back to your family and close friends and saying, hey, I have left now. Um, I see, you know, that it was a cult. Saying that is basically putting yourself in a position to say you are at fault, that you are the you are the bad guy in the situation. And you know, your family and friends weren't the bad guys, but neither are you. And it could set you up to be traumatized by your family members if they are not emotionally supportive in that moment. As for me, I went to my best friend at the time, I taught, went to my parents and my siblings, and I told them what happened. And I really got no response whatsoever. I, it was not anything that would, would make me want to do it again if I had the option. In fact, it traumatized me worse. It made me feel horrible because they just kind of gave me the cold shoulder and, it, and they didn't even ask me any questions. They just said, oh, I, you know, and um, my, my best friend at the time, she's no longer that person in my life, but at the time, I mean, she was just a real um, witch to me. 
And it's still hurtful to this day, just how she treated me when I sat and I told her. And I was just really um, distraught and, and remorseful because I felt like all those years had gone by that uh, I feel we lost because I was in this group. And, you know, no one that I told had any real compassion or empathy. And that set me back emotionally and psychologically. It was just very traumatizing. And, and I'm not saying that they did not have their share of pain and trauma from us being in the cult, but the reality is spiritual abuse is not recognized and people don't understand what that means. They understand verbal abuse, they understand psychological abuse and sexual abuse and of course physical abuse. And some people still don't even acknowledge that the way that they should. So nevertheless, spiritual abuse, it's not seen as something real and so you know you you can come out to your family and tell them that you've officially left but if they haven't asked you on their own choice they haven't come out on their own to to ask you why you haven't been going to church with the cult because when you leave a cult it's extremely obvious there's no way to hide it because the commitment that a cult demands is so intense and and so uh, time consuming that you know you're always at events you're always with the people in the cult you're always you know recruiting so when 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 you don't do those things anymore even for a short period of time it's very obvious so for my let me just say it this way because of what I just said, because it's so obvious when you're no longer involved with the cult, here's a litmus test to decide, should you announce, officially tell this person I'm no longer in the group? Number one, does the person notice that you are no longer attending meetings, you're no longer with the group, and, and you know they notice that there's a change? And do they come and ask you about it? And something simple, something simple like, are you still going to that church? Or I haven't seen you going. If they don't have any question like that for you, then don't bother announcing to them and having some heart to heart, face to face sit down, telling them that you've left. It's only going to burn you. Um, you know, if you have a very supportive family, um, then then that's different. But, you know, for those of you who don't, and a lot of people who get in cults, we don't have close families or supportive families uh, that are healthy. You know, so just use that litmus test. Have they noticed and are they asking you about it? I, you know, just out of sheer curiosity. You know, these are the people supposedly in your life that are the closest to you. So they should want to know, you know, especially if they've been pitching and moaning all these years about you being in the group, they should want to know well, why you no longer go. And, and that would be my litmus test to decide, should I actually waste the time and energy and breath and emotion to sit down and tell them officially? If the answer was no, they haven't asked, they haven't noticed, then I would just keep it pushing. Just keep, you know, doing what you're doing. If you're now no longer going and you stop going to Sunday services and to events and you stop, you know, hanging out with members in the group and they, you know, just focus on yourself, but don't, don't bother. If they ask you, they ask, but if they don't, they don't. So until next time.